welcome back to day three. I'm actually in Anchorage, Alaska. I changed up the plans. We're gonna spend more time in Seward instead of going up to Barrow. But here, this is how my flight went from Fairbanks down to Anchorage. Going from Fairbanks down to Anchorage, this captain made a heck of a sightseeing tour, would you say, by going around Denali Peak. We couldn't believe how clear it was on this beautiful day. Hearing all the stories, how rare it is to see Denali's Peak, I'm pretty thrilled I got to see it from the sky twice and from the ground. All right, you like that? Let's get in this beautiful thing and uh, head down and explore Seward. Before we get exploring, let's check out F Stop. Well, let's go inside and get some food before we explore. We're hungry. Look at that truck. Correction, F Street Station. Immediately upon walking in, you notice it's very airline themed. This feels like a place that I would meet my airline coworkers after work. Kyle's dad recommended this place for delicious fish and chips. Oh God, thank you. So they had two options for the halibut. They had a small plate and a big plate. I opted for the small plate and I'm glad I did because my goodness filled me up and it was so good. After having some good grub, I walked around to check out all this nostalgic stickers from all the airlines of the past and other stickers that might have caught my eye. This old United, the 747 sticker, the Northwest sticker. It was awesome. Oh, stick a fork in me. That was good. Oh, I'm having twins. I'm going to get back to running and kind of working out. Oh, well, let's continue and see what else we can get into today. One thing we had to do was get our fishing license. So you ever want to fish in Alaska? Because that's what we're about to do. A Fred Meyer will do the trick. Get your day out of state license. Wish us luck. Wish us luck. Hopefully the rest of this video and journey you will see some fish. Off we go. I'm glad we opted for Kenai Peninsula rather than Barrow because sunny days like today. We will start out the 125 mile journey on the Seward Highway headed to Cooper's Landing but traffic hit us. Look at those views. However, we're stuck in traffic. Might be a minute. Once we were moving again, we stopped at Beluga Point to take in the views and check out an oncoming train. This train passing us is the Coastal Classic and it stops in Girdwood before ending in Seward. See how dangerous that shit was? That train came up quiet on us. So along the Seward Highway, one of my favorite stops is Beluga Point. It is illegal to cross the tracks because typically there's someone here showing the way. Be smart, look left, look right, because just like it went just past me, it creeped around this corner so quiet, so fast, without a whistle dead in a heart attack second so check out the views we didn't made a pit stop hopefully some drone flying sadly a no-go with drone flying it's too windy if you can't hear it so we'll just explore this rock area this is only my second time at beluga point the other time was in the winter when i witnessed turnigan arm this body of water in front of us mostly frozen over on we go, let's continue. I was a little surprised we caught up to the train. We were just in awe with all this stunning beauty and good weather because we knew all that was about to change. So when you book things last minute, you get what's left, but I'm not gonna lie. This looks kind of fun. A little cabin out in the middle of nowhere in Cooper's land, Cooper Landing. And seriously, Things are like a campground with cottages, tents, different style cabins. I can already feel the mosquitoes. Put those sentinel things on. Let's go inside and take a look. Bingo. Hmm, that's fun. Kyle, I'll sleep up here. Uh, 
Little kitchen. Little bathroom. Bingo. Kyle's room. Also, here's a fun one. No TV, no nothing. Good thing I have books on my phone downloaded and music. Kyle, how about you? What are you doing? I got books in my suitcase. Magazines. Even better. Let's go wander around, find food and whatever else. So we're going to check out the properties. Little bar diner thing. See what this roadhouse is all about. Once we walked in, we just knew we would be having cheap beer and local food. So I found my sandwich. I think I'm gonna order the Kara Booyah. Right on cue, a couple rainier beers. Some salmon chowder. Wow, that's much better than I thought. And I give you the Kara Booyah. Wow, did I show you the view behind the cabin? Look at that. That caribou sandwich was pretty damn good. It was like kielbasa on the bread. After we grubbed, we grabbed our, my drone, his camera, came out for some shots, but I hope you enjoyed these drone shots. <laughs> mosquitoes definitely a state bird the sun was finally setting so we headed back but a lot of places in the area are doing a lot of construction this time of summer well it got dark a little too fast a little too quick but more to come go ahead and kick our feet up mm -hmm. 